What's up everyone? We're back with some more verses today. It's been a little while since I last played. I believe it's been like a week. Let's find the matchup real quick. I actually took a little bit of a sneak peek at the leaderboard before uh, hopping in to this video. And I saw that some people have already reached the 2050 ELO range. So <laughs> the goal of getting to top 10 is getting further and further away from us. So I guess I might have to play some more off camera if I want to achieve that. But at the same time I really enjoy just casually playing 3 games of versus a week and uh, showing them off to you guys. I'm not the best at it as you can see, I'm constantly learning new strategies thanks to you guys but um, I think we have what it takes to get to 1800, if we are a bit lucky that is. Like usually with the turtle pack matchup I quite struggle because uh, units like the shark exist, turkey is always not very uh, pleasant to face off against. But uh, yeah, there are some workarounds, hopefully our opponent uh, is not uh, rolling into many sharks though, I, I don't really like to see that, but um, let's first of all find an opponent, they might not even be playing on the turtle pack, who knows. It's taking a little while, uh, I don't know really why, be because I thought people play this quite a bit. Finally we find someone a little bit higher rated than us on the turtle pack, so we are in fear of finding sharks. Or he is finding sharks, I'm not really finding sharks I don't believe. Ah, how do I play this? It's a decent start I would say, but I kinda wish I had taken the ferret that was offered to me. Here we are winning which is absolutely ideal because next round uh, how do we play this do we play for a win or do we want to draw and uh, not let them have their snails, snails enabled uh, i think we might want to play for a draw because like if i had to guess they probably play for a win this round and put a pick first position so I don't think we are winning anyway. Very good level ups here, we have two in the gecko and the mod, I don't think I'm going to take multiple mods though. Yep, we were correct, they are going to draw here, they have a very good start, triple pick is very strong. And we get an owl, owl plus goldfish, interesting. So we can take Owl, I think, and then I'm hoping that we get a toy or something, maybe even skip the goldfish because, hmm, I don't think we skip the goldfish, sadly. I think we have to take it now mm -hmm. and maybe hope for a toy next turn and hopefully they don't level into some good stuff. Alternatively, we can take a Robin to fill in that fifth slot and maybe sell the Goldfish next turn, I'm not really sure. My play is a bit scatterbrained, but uh, from what I can tell, they did not roll into the best stuff that is available to them. So that's nice at least. We can invest a little bit here. Buy this, buy this. I think I might sell the Goldfish if I get... Uh, a good toy pet here, which we are not looking very likely to find. Another Robin, I think I might consider though. Yep, sadly no good stuff here. But hmm, I think, yeah, I think yeah, I might sell this. Sell this, buy this here. Uh, the good thing about turning this strategy is that uh, we can level up next turn and uh, if we find the buffalo we will be quite happy to see it. Unfortunately though we lose here once again, but it's okay as long as we find the level up that is. We do almost immediately. And it's nothing good, but 
it's at least a bit of chili, so that can be decent. Hopefully we find the toy though, we still need that. Finally we do. We find two toy pets in fact, and uh, I think I will take the puppy for the lasagna. Weakness I don't believe is useful at this point in the game. This positioning should be fine. I'd be happy with another level up honestly, because buffalo can be very good for this build. And yeah, we're finally starting to come back. Big Gecko with Chili's strong. Who, who could have thought that? Let's continue scaling up. We find the hatch and check, which is better than the mod, so I'll take it. Uh, Lemur can be good for next turn. We even take several of them. I think I'll prepare a level up actually instead of hoping for a mouse. We can skip here, we can skip here again, and then even sell the owl. I think it's done its job. Now we have this sort of setup, which is very nice. Let's spend all of our gold, sadly. Uh, not misplay like I was trying to do. Yep, not even close this time. Let's take a level now. Ah, uh, it, interesting choices, honestly. Uh, this is also quite an interesting choice. We can take Garlic Press or the Radio. I think Radio might be the choice this time. Like, Garlic Press is good and all, but I really enjoy having this chili on the team. It's been very strong for us, so I think I'll take Radio here by this. And start investing into the eagle instead. Might even put a pie on or something. And this robin can stay just for the level of potential. But other than that I don't think I'm going to want it. I'm sorry for peeking the mic so much. I don't know why I'm breathing so heavily. They did level into a shark as we predicted. But uh, we do have a very strong gecko. So... It's not a problem for now. And also, we are open to the option of transitioning into a Garial and uh, taking the toy gun to snipe this. Which I don't think we need to do right now. But it's pretty fun to, to try, so I think I'll freeze it. It can be very unexpected, so I guess it can catch my opponent off guard, which is what I want to see. Um, currently I believe this position is still best. Let's try. They have repositioned, included a lot of summons as well, so... A toy gun is going to be very painful for them when I get it. I don't think they're going to expect it. The benefit of me playing Puppy Pack is that a lot of people don't expect you to include toys so suddenly so yeah let's take the toy gun here uh, I think now garlic could be good uh, panther could be pretty decent as well with garlic reducing for damage but I don't think I'll take it I'm looking for some levels here or that could also work. I think we sell the Garyal now. This is going to be very temporary. I think this is just for the single turn that is going to let us win. But after that they are going to reposition the shark somewhat. So I don't think we should rely on the toy gun. Let's see what they do. They're thinking about this. I don't know what there is to think about. Maybe including a turkey instead of the dodo. I don't know. Uh, very good with the positioning. They caught me there. They even outplayed the toy gun. How did that happen? Because they put the parrot last. Okay. So at least we took care of the parrot, but... It's still very scary. At least we find the T-Rex here. Hopefully we find another eagle or something. 
we can take Gary off for next turn. I don't think they're going to expect us to keep the toy. Uh, how do we play this then? I think like so. Playing like so should be best. So this can take out the swan, hopefully. We find the chocolate. We really need to win here, otherwise I don't think we have a chance of winning the whole game. They find the rhino. And it's pretty scary, especially with the bad math, so we do end up losing. But I think we still have a chance. Let's take... Toy gun is still pretty good with the melon they have, so I might take it. Let's take a toy gun real quick. I don't think Foam Sword is better because a 7.5 parrot isn't as huge as getting rid of this equipment right here. So, okay, we do this. We do this hoping that it takes out the Rhino in one shot. If not, I guess we try to include another Mantis Shrimp if we are presented with one. We can take a Stonefish if not. But I would really rather have a thingy, a mantis shrimp. Unfortunately, we don't get it, so this is going to be the play. We can position like this, perhaps. And I really don't know how to play this. I guess this is the positioning we want. Hopefully, they didn't scale their rhino at all, so the mantis shrimp takes it out in one hit. Let's see. They did not, and we took care of the fly, so... Yup, we win this time. But... Yeah, I, I don't know what to do after this. Do we get rid of this, I guess? Maybe... Try to go for a level 2 Mantis Shrimp plus... A third one? So what would that be? That would be 30 damage, but that wouldn't take out both of these, which is unfortunate. Hmm. We can alternatively try to scale up the T-Rex for the extra level, but I don't think that's going to be relevant at all. But leveling up the Mantis Shrimp isn't going to be relevant either, so I'm very confused right now what to do. We can take, I guess, this, this, and uh, we can put a level onto here. T-Rex is going to buff only three of these units, but I think we are doing fine. Position like so. We need some equipment, I guess, and uh, maybe we can be good. They are probably going to reposition the fly. Ah, uh, unfortunate, I think we're going to lose now, yeah. Well, it's, it's the fear of the shark that I said at the start of the video, shark is just too good. Nothing much you can do against it, sadly, even with this team. Like, the weak part of Puppy Pack is the inability to snag the units in the backline, which are usually what keeps your opponent afloat, like a turkey, a fly, a shark. You have the foam sword, but unless you level it up, you don't really hope to take anything out with it. But yeah, GG to my opponent, or Neil, very nicely played. We lose 11 elo there, but it's okay. Let's take a look at the leaderboard real quick. Uh, this is Arena, you don't look at it from here, you look at it like so. And I was very curious about this person, the True Dragon. I, I've not heard of them, but they're top 3 over 2k rating, which is very impressive. Koti is also here, who I believe is a very good player. I beat, I believe he beat Sag in one tournament that was held. Let's take a look at the other leaderboards. Monkey, Gyomber, Pied Butcher Bird. Sack, Kyogre, all very familiar faces, which I'm very happy to see, but still no 2000 Tilo in this ladder, which is kind of weird. I expect this to be played a lot. 
and here we have these people once again I don't believe they've changed I guess mainly people play the static packs nowadays like weekly ladder not very played as you can see custom ladder from one week ago I don't believe this has changed almost at all but yeah st standard ladder the elo keeps climbing which is very fun to see for now this is going to be it I hope that you enjoyed the content if you did I hope that you like sub do all the generic stuff and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.